So just like we did with algorithm, let's look carefully, word for word, at the Wikipedia definition of function and, and try to make sense of it because it's going to inform everything else that we do today. So in computer programming, and there are different definitions of functions in different domains. So this is a word that we share with mathematics and with several other fields. So this is in computer science and computer programming in particular. Um, a function or subroutine, which is another name that you'll hear, or method, which is another name that you hear in Java in particular, is a sequence of program instructions that performs a specific task packaged as a unit. So there's, there's two pieces to that. So we're going to perform a task. Uh, we have, and you know, this is connected with this idea of algorithm. Frequently you have functions that implement an algorithm. Sometimes they'll do multiple things, um, but this is performing some specific task and it's packaged as a unit. And then it says the unit can then be used in programs wherever this particular task should be performed. So there's this idea of reusability. So let's think about what we did yesterday. We wrote an algorithm to look through an array to find a value. That's a piece of code. That's a sequence of program instructions that performs a specific task. It looks through an array to see if there, a value is in there. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna convert that into a function by repackaging it as a unit and essentially turning it into a Java function. When we're done, we will have a piece, this unit that we can use throughout our program whenever we need to perform that task, whenever we need to look through an array to find a value. So, you know, what we're going to do today to introduce this idea of functions is build off what we did yesterday. We'll take the algorithm yesterday for searching through an array and we'll set it up as a function and you'll see the steps one by one that we have to take to do that so that we can essentially end up with the sequence of program instructions that performs that task packaged properly so that it can be reused.